art help young people turn away from street crime, gang culture and drugs. One top art gallery in London is offering workshops for kids from tough inner city neighbourhoods to discover their potential as artists. My name is Ross Gibson, I'm 18 and I'm from Kennington. Kennington's an urban estate um, that it's an area where there's crime at night time, but at daytime it's just like a normal area for the human eye. At night time it's when it gets dangerous, you have to look over your shoulder wherever you go. The streets are empty because people are either intimidated and staying in the house or because everyone's just out of the area or in prison. One safe place is here, a youth club in South London, where once a week a private art gallery pays artists to teach boys to paint. Orford House is a place where everyone can just go, jam, talk to each other, play football, play table tennis, go join the art club, whatever. On a Tuesday evening, people can just go there instead of being out on the street in the gang, going out robbing people, getting up to no good. And it just shows them how good life can be without gangs. Ross and his 12-year-old brother Jordan are regulars. From coming here, I just learn new skills that um, help us, uh, real people, they talk to you as an adult. They don't tell you off or give you detention. So I come here, just come here, chill, relax. It is a safer right and environment because there's not really, there's not really anywhere apart from my house that I can actually do art without being hassled by people outside or getting told to go somewhere else to do art. The gallery uses private donations to provide top quality materials and professional art teachers. Done a hair in the Great British flag, red, white and blue. And I've done dollar, eyes on, um, dollar signs on my eyes to show that everything's about money in this country. What do you think, Ross? The Dulwich Picture Gallery recently put up a show in one of its rooms with the youth club's work including one of Ross's paintings. I had a piece of art that I've done myself in a gallery and to come in and see it up on the wall is honouring. I feel honoured to see my work up on the wall. But this painting shows like, my emotions about living in Kennington. That I don't like the area because it's kind of dangerous but it's where I've been brought up. It shows people that everybody's got darker sides to themselves and not everything is just peachy keen in the streets. The Youth Club show has been a success with visitors and critics. Well, we're really proud of this project. We've been working on this youth club in quite a difficult inner city state for a number of years. And that they're not easy. And it would be silly to pretend that they are because these are tough to teach. And so we're very excited to have got this sort of quality artwork from kids that people tend to think can't achieve very much and some of the things that they do are deeply irreverent and shocking and a bit rude and they love it. Art to me is to be creative in many ways but it's more of an emotional thing. It's to get my feelings and emotions out of my head onto paper to show people that I've got talent, show people what I'm made of and everyone's got a talent, a hidden talent that they've got and in my case it's art. The gallery's efforts have helped Ross earn a place at a London art college, though he lacks confidence and turned it down this year to work instead as a part-time labourer. Inside me is a, is a person screaming to get out and just go and do art no matter how hard it is, no matter how, just do it. But my mind's saying, just stick with the job, make the money, just live your life. Don't get yourself more stressed up. If I have money in my pocket, I can go out and enjoy myself, go out for meals, buy clothes, trainers, whatever I wanted. Just enjoy life. My future, ideally, would be some sort of career in art or graphic design and either that or fitness instructing. Um, have my own house, have a family, children, possibly a wife. Just live a normal life, happy without the stress of gangs and criminal activity, just live my own life.